Well, hello there, friends. I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in forever and it's only Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. Um, but there's there's a lot going on in, in, the, in here. There's a lot going on in here. Lots of plates spinning in my head and in and around me. Um, but I thought, come on, pick up the camera this morning because because we've got shit to catch up on. We do. And today is the day I start getting my shit together, okay? Because I haven't started packing yet. I have not. I mean, the reason I haven't started yet is because I haven't got boxes. But give it another hour and I will because a wonderful human on Instagram, I asked if anyone's got any boxes locally to me because, you know, recycling, everyone helping each other out and it saves me money. Um, because buying boxes brand new is like 30 quid. Like, what? Why won't I spend £30 on cardboard? Anywho, this lovely human being has offered me her moving boxes because she moved about a month ago, she said. So I'm off to pick those up shortly um, en route to Mother's. And whilst Mum and Dad look after Goldie, I can like make lists today. That's the job. I'm going to make lists, organise lists of what I need to do. And then I'll actually start doing it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so... First step, yes, boxes. What else is going on? I'm absolutely losing the plot. I found this account on Instagram that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Let me find the name of it, I don't wanna get it wrong. Your mate, Ginger Kate, okay? Don't know the woman, want to be her friend, highly recommend. Her bio is make the switch, become a natural bitch. Um, I have no idea how I came across her. I have no idea. But I followed her for a little while, liked her videos and just slowly but surely she sucked me in more and more and more. Basically, you know I've been like obsessed with like skincare and everything like that at the moment and I'm trying my best. I'm never gonna be perfect and I'm never gonna pretend to be perfect, but I'm trying my best to do better with natural eating, natural, everything reducing like toxins around me around goldie all stuff like that right and i have learned so much from her videos and she makes all her own lotions and potions and i want to become that natural witch bitch i do like where the fuck is my cauldron i'm so excited so instead of renewing like my moisturizer and a few makeup bits that i need which by the way i really actually liked that last beauty pie order can you hear goldie in the background She's getting bored, I think. I am going to do like an updated review of all the beauty, pri beauty pie products because a lot of them I genuinely love. There's a few that I'm a bit like meh, not really bothered about, probably wouldn't really buy, so I'll let you know those as well. However, if I can save money and if I can create something that's even better, because even though I might like the beauty pie stuff, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a scientist. I don't know what the fuck's in there. I don't know what the fuck is in the products. I don't. So if I can concoct all these lotions and potions and do it myself, some of it might be absolutely horrendous, but it'll be fun to try. So I've only gone and bought myself a shit ton of like cupboard staples and ingredients, which I'm about to move house. I don't have the room to bring it all in and I've done it anyway. I know, absolutely mental. Um, I mean, in the next house, it's going to go in my utility room, but I was too excited and I had to order because to be fair I'm running low on my moisturizer and I'm running low on a few things so I'm really excited for this I'm gonna try skincare I'm gonna try a few cosmetics I know I know bear with cleaning products like I really want to eliminate my toxic cleaning cupboard um because I'm not gonna lie over the last few years I've been sucked in to marketing I've been sucked into the lovely lady on Instagram who I do like very much um the very famous cleaning lady. I, I, I'm, I'm sure she is a wonderful human and I, I like her aura, but I have been sucked in and a lot of what she uses is just chemical crap. And now that I have a baby that's about to crawl everywhere and eat everything and whatnot, whatnot. Do you know what, it's funny. I'm actually way less bothered about like germs, like Goldie getting germs, like I want her to get germs, like build your immunity, hun. I'm less bothered about the germs, germs, more bothered about the chemicals, basically, um, is my motto. Is that a motto? No. So yeah, gone off on a tangent, but I think a lot of the stuff is arriving today, so I'm gonna have to do a, a crazy haul. 
of all these wild ingredients and oils and butters and essential oils. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know people are into their essential oils and I've always been like, you go Glen Coco, like I get it, but I didn't get it. I didn't get it until now and I've, I've got it now. Wow. So I'm going to have way too much fun with that. Um, let me show you my little oot fart of the day because I ordered the jeans, I reordered the jeans in the right size. How cute are these? You know me and daisies go down a treat. I love them. I feel like this is my look. Like this is my vibe. Like this is me, like a basic vestie, a funky jean, and then an oversized jumper or cardsy, and then a platform shoe, whether it be a trainer or an UGG or something like that. Obviously these are slippers. Do you know what I mean? And then a spectacle and whatever the fuck's happening with the barnet. Like I feel, yeah, very me. But yeah, well happy with these jeans. This was meant to be an introduction and I've just gone <gasps> full in on this video. So welcome to this week's vlog. Look at the state of you. <laughs> huh. How was your leek and potato? <laughs> really, was that nice? That's wild. Is it yum? And you had a bit of yogurt, you know. <laughs> yeah, you just like grabbing everything. <laughs> Don't yeah. You gonna sleep tonight? Yeah, probs not. How are you two eyes? Sensational. Oh. I thought you were surprised you wouldn't crack the joke the fact that I've got my coat on. <laughs> you beat me to it. <clears throat> Chilly, is it? He went to make his dinner and then he realised he was out of eggs and <laughs> honestly the roof nearly blew off fuming. <laughs> um, so you popped to a hubby, didn't you, yeah. babe? I got you your little things. Yeah, you got treats. me a couple of little treats. I'll fancy some ginger nut biscuits. Oh, I love a little dunky dunk of a ginger nut. Baba. But it is actually a bit chilly in our house because I it's turn the heat off. Freezing. Gets about nine o'clock. Is it? And it's cold. Is it too early? I don't. I don't know. Has anyone else turned the heating off yet? Yeah, you laughing yeah, as well. Funny? I won't go into it because I feel like it's all I've been talking about, particularly on Instagram. Um. But last night for the first night I had to co-sleep with Goldie. I say had to, I chose to in the end because she's basically feeding every two hours in the night. She was keeping not... me up. <laughs> Unbelievable. All about, all about him. He's not hungry, she's just using me for comfort. And because I'm literally offering her boobs straight away, obviously that's becoming a habit and I don't want to encourage reverse... What's the word? Reverse feeding, basically. Um, where she eats more at night and then doesn't eat so much during the day. So, yeah, so last night I was a little bit brutal, like, not feeding her, but obviously she, she lost her shit every time I put her back down in the car after I was soothing her. So in the end, I got in the sofa bed with her, safe co-sleeping, don't you worry. I was on the outside, I was wrapped up like a burrito, there was no covers near her, and she can't pull down the back of the other side because there's literally a a back to the sofa bed um and she did cut she did go to sleep and we the had full five hours full five hours full five we had 12 hours. till five she woke up um which means she didn't eat from 10 till five so i know she could do it so we'll see how tonight goes but i might have to just do that for a couple of weeks of course she can whilst do we're it. transitioning it's in the size of it mm. it's in the size of you no, I know, she's not wasting away. About 17 but also, chins. But also, it's a, deve a developmental thing, it's a leap, it's a comfort thing as well. She's becoming her own person. Like, she's realising now that she's separate to me and that she's not attached to me. And that's when the separation anxiety thing kicks in. So ba interesting. Basically, basically, all that needs to happen is she needs to go have a word of herself and give herself a good... It's that, that easy, and good talking to. No, it's just a phase. Every every little stage is has its own difficulties, but it's fine. All my bits and bobs came that I was telling you about this morning. Well, actually, there is one more package which I think is coming tomorrow. So I'll wait for it all to come. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't even shown you yet. She hasn't looked at me for two days. Like literally hasn't looked at me for two days. And all I told that she's been doing is just... Stalking this woman. Stalking and researching... Do you know what you say? People research. 
There's nothing quite like it when Chelsea gets in the zone and she starts researching. Did I get obsessed over something? Anyway, yeah, so I cannot wait to get stuck in with that. Not that I, you know, because basically I haven't got enough going on at the moment. Do any other mums or parents or whoever make the most like healthy, home cooked, wonderful meals for their child and then they're like, oh crap, I need to eat. I mean, to be fair, when she's a little bit older and she can eat what we're eating, then we'll just all eat together. And I know she can do that now. I know she can, but... So we haven't steak and eggs. Yeah. Um, but I I do quite enjoy pure, like the odd night of pureeing. And that's what I've done tonight. I did some leek and potato. Because then I can also... I make a load and then I freeze in like the big ah, ice cube trays that. the rest. So that if I don't want to cook one night or whatever, whatever, there's... There's leftovers. So I've done leek and potato tonight. Are you having a puppies? Say goodbye. Say night night. Say night night. Night night. Night night. Say night night. Say night night. A little laugh kills me. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> I love you. you. Mummy, look at me. I'm I a can floating. see you. My floating head. You look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> it's so hard to know what to do of an evening because I am knackered. And I could go to bed at 7pm when Goldie does. But but then I'll feel a little bit resentful that I haven't got like an evening to myself. I just like a little bit of time, do you know what I mean? So I stay up. I probably will go to bed about 9 o'clock tonight. I'm going to have a nice bath. So have an early night, but not quite as early as seven o'clock. Beautiful. No paint lost. None at all. One down, 20 million to go. Oh, you best hurry up. No, I'm not having that. Look at that. You can come and pick that up right now. This is like a pool tabby one. No. They're you... so good. Chelsea. I'll get over Chelsea. I'll I... pick it up in a second. I can't deal with this. <gasps> Paint's come off. Oh my God, you've ruined it. How much? Oh, the tiniest bit. I can How much? Tiny bit. T tiniest bit? Are you joking me? Look at the state of that. What's Looks that? like someone's clawed in it. <laughs> now she's not crawling, but she's moving, sliding. Oh my god, this is not coming off. Which one? I'm gonna have to get your muscles. As you can see. This is the very start of pulling the house down and starting to pack. I'm already traumatised. I'm already regretting everything. I'm literally traumatised. You haven't done one thing! What are you traumatised by? Why didn't you use all of them for everything then? I know, I need to, don't you? Useless. Did you hear that? That's what you are, useless. She's, she's no, there we go, there we go. There's the tiny little bite. There's the bite. I'm just, um, I'm like the general manager of it. I just oversee everything. Right. So I've got this one off and this one, although I need to paint it. Strong man, two eyes is on the middle one. Oh God. I know. I'm not really, I'm not, I'm actually don't, I actually don't know. I don't know. Else. What do you mean you don't know? Just put some muscle into it. It's not as easy as just putting some muscle into it. <laughs> I can't fit me chubby little hands. <laughs> I don't have chubby little hands. <laughs> don't, I do not have chubby hands for a starter. Come on, get your chubby, your chubby little fingers. Get your chubby little fingers behind there. They're not chubby. They're thin. But you can't get your fingers behind them. My head's going to... Oh, my head's going west, <laughs> I'm, I'm already done. I'm already done. Already... Right, take a step down. You've no, done enough. No, it's all right. <laughs> You've done two. The stuff on the floor, I can't. I cannot go. I need to go for a oh coffee. Oh, my God. Don't. 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 You're mm -hmm. pissing me off already. All I wanted to do on this Friday night was come home and literally just sit on the sa on the sofa with you. Well, I'm sorry, but we've got to move in two weeks. Well, I said we can do that tomorrow. What are you really achieving doing it at this time? Getting a head start, which makes me feel better. You're can you just try, please? Right, don't then. No, stop being sassy. If I break this, don't have a go at me. 
Right? Who's me hands? I know. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to go and get a tool in a minute. I'm gonna have to get like, I don't even know. Right, I'm gonna do I've it because you're, li what you're literally useless. Are you just going to do like a little patch, like just yeah, yeah. like dab it a little bit? Yeah. My top tip is, I mean luckily the walls are just white so it doesn't matter, but you can get um, the Dulux tester rollers, so you don't have to buy like a whole tin of paint and paintbrush and stuff like that and it just rolls on. Belting. I'm going to do that. For the people that didn't know, Chelsea built her own van, camper van. So. You're a bit of a pro, aren't you? I'm not, I'm just, I'm more of an idiot. All the gear, no idea. I'm a little bit stressed and miserable. I'm not gonna lie, I've got a blister already. Basically, I'm really grumpy and you've got a grumpy Chelsea on the vlog right now. Well, I've pretty much taken down all the bits on the walls and... We started. What? It's a team effort, my babe. How much have you done, my babe? Yeah, but we just come as equals, don't we, so... Um... Yeah, but you have to actually do some of the work to call yourself part of the team. Project manager. To tell everyone what you did. The other day you went to the tip, which I'm very grateful <laughs> for. Um, because we forgot to put our bin out because we were idiots and they didn't take the bin. So Ian went to the tip and took the bins to the tip and he, I said, <laughs> oh, the massive box that came with our new car seat, right? I was like, bang in, that is going to be perfect for a big old box for the house move. And I said, but put that flat and put like the dip, the bin bags on the top of it just because I didn't want the car getting dirty. So he did it, he went to the tip and I said, put the box in the shed like after. So I've just asked him to go and get the shed out of the box and he's confused because there isn't a box in the shed. And I'm like, well, I, I, I don't know why there isn't. And he, he was like, someone must have nicked it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, babe, we would know if someone had broken into our shed. Honestly, what was it the other night? I said the other night I heard a couple of bangs. I'm telling you someone nicked it. Someone did not nick it. Because if they have, then they've like somehow got a key and then locked it up again. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden he realised that when he went to the tip and put the put the like general waste away, he or he also got rid of the box. Why would you get rid of a box when you're moving in two weeks' time? Explain yourself. Exactly, you can't. So that's just made me a little bit more fuming. But it's fine. It's a box. I know it's a box. I know. I don't. I, think, know. I don't think you told me to bring it back. Oh, sorry, guys. It's my fault. No, I'm not saying that it's your fault. Is that not what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, what I'm also a little bit fuming because, and this is my fault, I, because I'm the DIY man in this house, I've put everything up on the walls and I'm so worried that they were going to fall down that I really secured them up there. And because we're renting, obviously we don't want to put nails in the wall, so I put like stickers, like the double-sided tape or the pulley tapes and all the command strips, basically. Um, do you know what you can see behind me? It has taken all the paint off and I tried my hardest to like use a hairdryer and be really gentle. But basically now I've got to paint the entire fucking house. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to paint the entire house, but I'm going to, I'm going to obviously make good because I'm going to leave the property in wonderful condition. But they didn't all just peel off nicely like I'd hoped. All right. Particularly in Goldie's room because I was extra cautious that I didn't want anything falling on her. So I'm really pleased about that. Honestly, on it, it honestly would have been less work if I'd put nails in the wall. I'm gonna go to home base and I'm gonna get some paint and actually I'm gonna get some filler as well. And I'm gonna make good of all the walls because that's upset me a little bit. I literally people. love you more than anything in the entire world. But if there was one, the only, the one and only thing that I wish 
was that you had some DIY skills and that you kind of enjoyed like doing handyman shit. I wonder what it would be I wonder what it'd be like if I actually did enjoy that type of stuff. Oh gosh. I just think we'd be such a great team because I quite I don't mind doing it, but I'm not that good, I'm not that strong. But I think together we'd be a force to be reckoned yeah, but with. Why? Good morning, honey bees. Guys, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm feeling good. One can only apologise for the grumpy, sassy chels that you got yesterday. Um, but you know, cliche as it is, I'm going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And yesterday was bad and ugly. Um, yeah, I just was not feeling yesterday, and there was just like... Um, there was just multiple things that pissed me off yesterday and that and that weren't going to plan you know like so I was trying to sort out broadband for the new house but our current suppliers don't supply it at the new place so I've got to like send a router back and I've got to choose from a list of random suppliers I've never heard of before and I like familiarity I do but anyway all those little kind of annoying little things and then I was trying to sort out the contents insurance and he was asking me silly questions like what locks are on the doors and stuff and how am I meant to know that obviously I just need to either wait until we move in or ask the landlord I'm trying to do all the boring bits now so that once we move and we're settled in then that's all done and we can just have fun you know anyway today is a better day I've got a little alone time sorry so I'm on my own in the car and I'm just about to have a little trip to home base, maybe to home bargains as well, on my own. Babe's snapping and obviously Ian's with her um, and this feels very odd to be on my own. I have not been on my own for a long time. As you can tell, I do have a bit of energy because Goldie slept. She only woke up once for a feed at 2am, which is fine. I can totally deal with that. No problem. So she went from 7 until 2 and then I fed her and then she went down until 7 and I slept in my own bed. Like, this is what dreams are made of. Hey now, hey now. I've actually lost the plot. I think I'm losing it because I'm on my own. I've just shoved my hair up. I washed it yesterday and because I put it up yesterday, it's still a little bit wet and I've got a hoodie. Like, I feel like I look like a gymnastics coach this morning. I feel like that's my vibe. Why are there so many colors of white? I mean, I've gone for absolute white, but I was hoping to get the one coat one, but they don't. They have like cotton white and white mist and I don't know what's white so I'm gonna go for absolute white and hope for the best. Right so I'm gonna get some quick drying poly filler. I'm gonna get a little knife although that shitty bit of plastic is £2.50 and I need a little sanding block. Robin bastards. Say like robbery! A little home based trip cost me £17! I only got polyfiller, a sanding block, a little like filler knife thing, and two little tester pots. He is going to quickly eat, I'm going to quickly feed babe, and then they're going to bugger off, a pair of them, and go for a super long walk and just leave me alone. I'm going to blare some tunes! I haven't blared music in I don't know how long. I'm going to blare some music. How many times do I want to say blare? Right, they've gone. They've left the building. This is the weirdest thing in the world. The house is now mega quiet. Look what I've got, guys. I've got my poly filler and puppets. What more does a girl need on a Saturday? Don't even judge the state of the wall, but I've already filled it in, so that's dry. So I'm now going to sand it and paint it and hope that you will never know. Oh. 
what a day, what a life. Guys, I am a little bit proud of myself because this house looks brand new. Honestly, I think we're going to be leaving this house in better nick than when we moved in. Look at my walls. I mean, I don't know if... I guess you can see the walls. This, this, the shadowing, by the way, ignore the shadowing because that's not actually real life. That's just lighting. <laughs> Two eyes is an absolute mood. What? <laughs> You're just chilling. Watching Transformers. Oh, lovely. Honestly, I love this film. I'm really pleased for you. Um, so I've done... <laughs> You're all right. I have done the lounge, I've done the kitchen, I've done the stairs at the top of the stairs, I've done our room and I've done Goldie's room today. Done it all. I did run out of paint and I had to go back to home base and get more and then I've run out again and I need to do one more coat in um and I need to do one more coat in Goldie's room so I need to get more paint but I'll do that tomorrow but overall really chuffed for myself I have got a job for you though no not happening yep no so I've just sold um our outdoor furniture because we don't need it for the new house so I'm just gonna sell it rather than store it because it's just another huge bit of furniture to take isn't it um now all the cushions um, are stored in the shed and I freshly washed the covers but I just need to like I just want to wash it down it's just been sitting there but just over like the winter and stuff where it's just a bit muddy in areas I just want to wipe it down so two eyes can you come help me we'll do it together you do an amazing job I know I do but you I need to teach you for what reason no can you just help me because it will take half the time I actually think it will take longer me helping you it, than you just, you know, cracking on doing it by yourself. You, you need to help me with some of this move. I actually think there will be more hassle and you will get more worked up during this move with me actually helping you. No, I disagree. Right, Goldie's asleep. Let's just do it, get it done and then we can chill. We are going for brekkie, a late brekkie, a brunch, if you will, um, with good friends of ours, and in in town, which will be absolutely lovely. And then later, it is all systems go. I've got someone coming to pick up our outdoor furniture. Someone's coming to pick up our artificial jungle. Mum's picking up something for me from Facebook Marketplace because it's near where she lives. And then we're also picking up a rail a clothes rail Where from marketplace in Chichester. What time is that at? Four, I think I said. Anyway, so it's just one of those days where it's just like bam 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 lots of stuff happening. Um I just want to sit and watch the football. That ain't happening honey. Oh we know it is. What time's football? Two. I mean, I can go. I, I can go pick up that rail. That's fine. What else? I've got evidence that you said that now. No, that's fine. I'm, 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 that's, that's fine. Like, Boy, but we're not doing anything else. Like, because you, you'll just be no. packing tomorrow, won't you? Yeah. So, and to be honest, I'm sick of it now already. I mean, yeah, done a thing. I know, but I'm just, I'm just. You're sick of the mess. I'm just in and around it. No, there's not actually that you much. There's to... not actually that much mess, and there, there will be will mess be. anyway. Sorry? There will be. Come again. Cody, what are you going to have for breakfast? <laughs> are you going to have pancakes? <laughs> Everybody, meet baby Jack. Look at that scrummy, scrummy boy. This is Goldie's future husband. This is my bestie, Lauren. Yeah, do you watch the, um, <laughs> uh, Can't believe we're mummers. I know, it's crazy. Yeah. Cannot believe we are mummers. Honestly, a few years ago, we would never have believed. Lauren and I were camping in the Lake District, hiking up um, Scarfell Pike, 
With your broken ribs. Hating on men. <laughs> With your broken ribs. With broken ribs. Yeah, I'm, 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 Walking through rivers. And now look at us, engaged. <laughs> With babies, well, I cannot with you, baby Jack. <laughs> Feeling a little broody. Yeah. The outdoor furniture is gone. Um, that's been sold, which saves us taking it to the new place. I've also just sold the jungle, our art big artificial tree, which I'm sad about because I love that little bad boy. But to be honest, with all baby stuff and with a soon to be at some point toddler. Just, she'll just be pulling it down, so that's a no from me. But I've just had a thought. I've, I've had a really good idea um, that I want to tell two eyes. Just bear with me on this. Charles, I don't even know. Right, just what I know. Just, just I want to sell thought. the sofa. <laughs> This is the shit that I have to put up with. No, bear with. I think it's a really good idea. Day. And that's the first thing she always says. Bear with. Bear with. No, I've because let me explain. Here. I've had it literally up to you. <laughs> There's something new every single day. I'm selling this. We buy something three days later. I'm selling it. Why? Three. We've had this 18 months. I'm not specifically on about the couch right now. I'm just about in general. Two and a half days later, I'm selling it. I think we should sell the sofa only because we've loved this sofa. We've had it for 18 months. It's immaculate. It's going to be too small for the lounge in the new house, right? Um, and I've never been 100% on the colour. Like, it doesn't match the, the rest of the theme that I want in the lounge. Because I know that deep down you think it's a cracking idea. <laughs> no, you do. You're not oh, against it. Oh, Chelsea, I don't care. I knew I was going to say do that. Do whatever you want. Do whatever. Do whatever you want. But in the future, you can't look at me or moan at me whenever I have an idea of what I want to do. Because I literally never say no to you. Ever. It's because I'm great and I come up with great ideas. And, and what are you implying by that? That I'm well, that why would you say no to me? No, I'm not implying that. I'm just saying you wouldn't say no to me because my ideas are fantastic. Have you seen the sofa? No, I haven't. I haven't even looked. Well, before you come out with this shit. No, well, look, obviously there can be a sofa out there that I want. Look, please. Okay, I'll look now. You thought that I forgot I said about doing a haul. Forget I did not. It's just a little bit late, but we're here and everything, I think, yeah, everything has arrived. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you. Some of it, I'm like, I can't remember what the fuck that was even for, but it's fine. I'm going to go back on my research and figure out what some of this stuff is. I'm so excited to get my chemistry on, basically. Here we have it. Look at all my lotions and potions. <laughs> I told you I was becoming a bitchy, witchy, witchy, bitchy. Let's begin with the essential oils. I um, can't remember if I said this the other day, but I have gone for Nakura, um, which I, upon research, I am pretty darn sure that it's, a, well, it's definitely a pure essential oil, but I think it's a really good quality essential oil because it's just, it's such an unregulated industry that I, I really don't want to buy crap. Um, there is another company that I've researched that I know are just like top, top. Um, they are a lot pricier, but then you get what you pay for in this world. Do you know what I mean? So I bought these for now and then I probably, as I grow my collection, um, will try other brands. But I went for Ylang Ylang, Tea Tree, Orange, Patchouli, Lavender and Frankincense. Um, even though it's in a pack like that, I individually chose those scents. Um, so this is obviously the main character, pretty much, because this... Oh, already I can smell... I can smell something. Um, this is obviously what is going to naturally scent any single product that I create. Carrier oils that I've got. So this will be for things like moisturisers, 
creams, face masks, shampoos, conditioners, cleansers, all sorts, right? Um, oh, I have got some more stuff coming because I've just realised that I ordered some rose water and that's not arrived yet. Anywho, um, yeah, so, so the carrier oils that I've got, I've got fractionated coconut oil, which is basically liquid form and not um and not hardened castor oil so excited for this one because everyone raves about it um sweet almond oil jehovah oil that's a big old boy um i also got some glycerine off the top of my head i can't remember what that went in but that was needed for quite a few different like recipes basically some beeswax pellets um, I got some bentonite clay for some clay face masks. Very exciting up in here. Some arrowroot powder, which is good for things like baby powder. Not that I really, I've never used talc because I know it's not good, but maybe I will if I make my own one. But also dry shampoo. Not even joking, not even shitting you. I've got some alcohol-free witch hazel. So I'm going to make a toner with this and rose water and some other funky stuff. I've got activated charcoal tooth powder. Although at some point I might make my own toothpaste. I know, I know. I told you I've lost the plot. I've also seen you can make your own mascara. I'm prob it's probably gonna be an absolute flop and a disaster, but I thought, well, try it anyway. Um, baking soda or bicarb, same thing, um, basically. You can use that for everything. I use that anyway for cleaning products. I'm also gonna make my own cleaning products, by the way. Um, I have got another big batch of that actually as well, which is great. I've got some Castile soap, which is basically a soap base. Um, it's like unfragranced, um, no nasties in it. It's just Castile soap. You can cocked with it what you wish. I've got two lots of shea butter. Whoa. So this is gonna be amazing for like making my own body butter. Um, can't wait to use that. I've got some um, flaxseed, literally just flaxseed, um, but not to eat or to sprinkle. It's actually to soak and to make what is kind of called a Botox serum. Um, apparently it's incredible. So I'm gonna try that. And then this one, zinc oxide. I can't bloody remember what I ordered that for. But when I start looking at the like different recipes that I have saved, I'll come across it again and be like, that's what it was for. Um, see, it's all very new to me. Um, what I haven't got yet, but I have ordered, because I've ordered it off, all off Sheen, is like little, little glass amber pots and dropper bottles, spray bottles for the toner, um, rollable bottles for like eye cream. Basically, yeah, I've ordered a load of like, glass bottles and bits for me to actually put them in. So I haven't got that yet. So that's why I won't be making it this second. Um, but I actually cannot wait. I can't wait to like label all my own little bottles and just try these things out and see what's an absolute nightmare or see what's really simple. I just want to take everything back to basics, but I just think you can't go wrong with making things yourself. It's like the food we eat. Obviously, homemade cooking from scratch is always going to be better. So why not give it a go? And actually, even though obviously this is a, a small investment, well, I was going to buy a load of stuff anyway, so it's not cost me any more. Um, it's actually probably cost me the same, but this is going to last me a long, long time. Do you know what I mean? So I definitely feel like down the line I'm going to save lots of money as well. How funny, what a laugh. I've even seen a little recipe for tinted moisturizer, um, which I'll give a go at some point, and like a lip lip balm, which is really, really easy to do. But it's all just gonna take time to, to gather the knowledge as well. But yeah, I'll try a few little funky things next week um, and show you how I get on. And let me know in the comments if you've ever done any of this. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone do it before. So that, I think that's why I was fascinated when I went on your mate Ginger Kate's Instagram. And you know me, I'm open-minded and I love trying this shit out, okay? And I feel like this is where we should sign off 
this week's vlog. Thank you for watching and coming on this weird old journey. So you know the drill. Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling this vid. Um, click the subscribe button if you haven't already. It makes a huge, huge difference to me. So thank you. Come back next week for more random shit and fun. Lots of love. Ta-da.